Well, a lot of us watched it on TV. Some of us were even at the Junos in Regina in person. But one man immersed himself in the Junos experience. DJ Anchor, CTV Morning Live's music guru. Good morning. Good morning. Here to tell us about your Juno adventures. You, you were there live. You did a lot of DJing at some of the industry parties. How was your Juno experience? It was great, and I thought for the first time being in Regina, everyone came out and supported. Lots of rider chants uh, between commercial breaks. Really? People were chanting, go riders, go. So definitely fired up <laughs> to have the Junos in the Queen City. So, yeah, mo I mean, most people didn't see stuff like that. They saw what was on TV. Uh, what were some of the other behind-the-scenes things that, that you uh, were a part of that maybe we didn't see on television? Well, obviously, Michael Bublé did a great job hosting. It was super funny, but when he wasn't hosting, when it was commercial break, uh, T-Rex from Much Music, one of the VJs, was in there hyping up the crowd and saying you can't chew uh, gum on camera and cracking some jokes and all that kind of stuff. So it was good. There was a good interaction in between. And they also played some artist tributes, Rita McNeil videos and stuff uh, in between commercial breaks oh, as well. So you guys got to see the artist tributes and we really got very little of that. Yeah, well, they can only fit so much on live TV. Obviously, the big people like Carly Rae get the camera time. Okay, I guess. Also, you were got a special uh, memento there yeah. that, that is kind of odd. <laughs> a Juno seat cushion. Now is that that's because they sat you on some of the harder seats in the in the yeah I was I wasn't in the prime seats next to Bublé's <laughs> wife in their sparkly red dress there but uh, if you ever been to a rider game at Mosaic Stadium yeah. you can buy these there just the rider edition but this is the Juno rider edition of the seat okay. cushion so so they didn't want some of the the big wig musicians to have sore butts at the end of the I night I think so yeah <laughs> kind of cool um, some of the red carpet highlights too you were uh, you you were there for a little bit of that and saw some interesting stuff yeah it was cool Josh Ramsey from Marianas Trench the people could actually buy tickets for the red carpet but they didn't guarantee you access into the show. So he was on the red carpet saying, hey, some of the fans who wanted to see us, who didn't get tickets, here's some tickets, and he handed out some tickets to fans who couldn't get into the Junos, but were supporting the artists on the red carpet. Hey, that is cool right there. Very nice. Uh, and you, you had a, a kind of a special experience, uh, a bucket list crossing off, uh, if, if you would. Yeah, so I was DJing the official Universal Music after party, and it was a very tight guest list, and I actually had Anne Murray dancing, so that was very cool. Dancing my, to some songs you put on. Yeah, so my, I texted my mom, and my mom <laughs> texted me back saying, say hi to her for me. I'm okay. like, mom, it doesn't quite work that way. <laughs> what song was, was she dancing to then, do you remember? I can't even remember. It was some old disco, Gloria Gaynor or some old disco <laughs> song. So, Very cool. Um, now, uh, how did you think Michael Buble did as host? He seemed pretty good. For I'm, I think he did unbelievable. Uh, his his wife looked amazing and cracking that Carly Rae joke, he totally played it off like a pro. <laughs> and uh, Yeah, he, the part where he looked nervous, I think he obviously wasn't, but he sounded very nervous and played it up and it was very good. Yeah, no, he did an excellent job. The, uh, the rider stuff, the potash stuff. Yeah, that was hilarious. Grown. I thought it was pretty funny. He got a little risque at times, though. <laughs> I was a little surprised by some of the stuff he said. I don't think you expect that from Buble, so it, made it makes it extra edgy or funny from him, yeah. Could be. And then, of course, Carly Rae Jepsen, uh, big, you know, she won three of the biggest awards, but there were some surprises as well. Leonard Cohen winning Artist of the Year. Yeah, I don't, maybe the Carly can't win four, but um, I don't <laughs> know what the rules are, are behind that, but, uh, yeah, Johnny Reed, I don't think that was any surprise there. No. And another surprising thing that maybe you wouldn't have seen at the after party, um, T-Rex was one of the hosts there from Much Music. He was doing the off-camera stuff. Mm -hmm. Dean Brody showed up at the after party, and it was like celebrities taking pictures with celebrities because may they may have not met. So celebrities being starstruck kind of blew my mind a little bit. That's pretty cool stuff. All right, uh, DJ Anchor, seemed like a terrific event. Thank you so much for your insight. Thanks. All right, back to the desk.